Hello. So you might remember that I created these variants so you can place different shapes, um, although I don't have the things which uh, smooth between the shapes yet, so we're just sticking to one for the moment. But I've added in a couple of new features. For example, you can now grab these caps and resize your, your mesh, um, and you can also move along the piece of graph paper, and you can uh, actually place items now. So let's go ahead and make a little bulge here for the sake of our... Oh, I, I was in item place mode. That's a, a minor bug because I didn't have an item selected. So you can also place beds now. And beds are just sleeping bags with head straps, um, at least the basic bed. And you can see that it's floating around and I can click and I can place it. If I wanted to place more than one, I can up the symmetry and you can see in the upper right it says far wall times two. And that tells me that I've got some lateral symmetry going on. But if I was going to place four, it might be better to actually just place four. But you can see that now it's radial symmetry instead of lateral symmetry. And it does, in fact, react to the topology of the, uh, uh, of the model, which is why it's got that bump there, because there's an indent in the model. And that's on purpose. But there's no reason to limit it to four when I can limit it to 16. And we could have a whole marching parade of beds. Now, as before, this is already pretty much integrated straight into a module. Uh, the textures are all wrong because I'm using materials intended for line drawing rather than actual floating around inside. But uh, converting this into a game module should be rather easy, which means that I'm all I need to do now is polish the hell out of this so that you can do things like delete items that you've placed, um, have items that are on a given wedge go away when that wedge changes size, or reshape, or maybe move themselves. Uh, there's lots of, of changes I need to make. But you can see that this is a huge module, and the graph paper actually is accurate. This is a one meter tile. So you can see that at the edge here, it tops out at something like eight meters across. And that's reflected in the weight here. You can see that this thing weighs 102 kilograms. So things are coming along. That's uh, that's pretty much it.